Hello, uh, question number one. It says in colder regions like poles, there are two identical open containers, one filled with hot water, another will filled with cold water. They are left exposed to the atmosphere. It is observed that usually hot water freezes earlier than the cold water. And uh, there are certain reasons given to uh, this process. We need to identify the responsible causes for this fit. First is the hot water has more heat to loss. Second says the hot water initially loses heat at a faster rate. And the third reads more evaporation causes more heat loss in hot water. So uh, let's consider these two container, identical container having liquid and outside temperature is T0 and let's say hot water has a temperature T1 or cold water is a temperature T2. This T1, T2 will change over, over the time and initially T1 will be higher as compared to the T2. So uh, we know these, these containers will be losing heat to atmosphere due to uh, radiation process. And as per the radiation, Stephen's law we follow, then the rate of cooling depends on the temperature difference. That means temperature of the surrounding and the temperature of the system. And the formulation goes like this. Now it says basically, uh, higher the temperature difference, faster will be the cooling. Or we can use the Newton's law of cooling as well, simplified version. In either case, we will be able to comment that the higher the temperature difference, higher will be cooling rate. So since T1 is greater than T2, then you'll find T1 minus T0 will be a big number. So this will be losing heat faster. Hence, it will be cooling faster. So hot water is going to cool faster. So second statement which says the hot water initially loses heat at faster rate is basically explained by the Stephens or Newton's law of cooling. And it's initially because initially this T1 is greater than T2, then uh, this will lose heat faster. So its temperature will rapidly drop and then the temperature um, values may differ. Then uh, apart from this radiation losses, you'll find uh, initially this is a higher temperature, then you'll find uh, this will have more evaporation. Since it has a more evaporation and we know in evaporation process, uh, liquid gets converted into gas. Now to convert the liquid into gas, some heat has to be supplied for that in that liquid to convert into gas. So let's say certain portion this gas gets converted into gas. So heat has to be extracted from the rest of the liquid. Now if heat is being extracted from the rest of the liquid, that means the temperature of this liquid is getting down. That means it will also help in faster freezing the hot water. And in the same process will also occur in this cold water, but you'll find in cold water evaporation will be less. Hence, less amount of heat will be extracted from this as compared to the hot water. Then you'll find hot water will be freezing faster. So the third uh, statement which says more evaporation happens in the hot water and which in turn causes more, more heat to loss that in turn freezes this hot water faster. So second and third, the two statements are logically uh, explaining this process. Whereas the first one which says the hot water has more heat to loss. So we will say uh, uh, whether you consider this system or this system, they have energy, thermal energy. They have uh, other energies, right? So this thermal energy uh, is more in first we can think of and thermal energy is less in the second we can think of. But they are not the heat because system does not have a heat. So heat is the, when this thermal energy goes out. So then it becomes heat. So, and uh, it, it's not the case like if, if some system has more thermal energy, uh, it will be uh, cooling faster. That's not the rule. Uh, the rule is the, based on the temperature difference and evaporation that we have talked about. Hence, correct response is going to be the option C. Thank you.